Good thing is the beak is still attached. Mm -hmm. You know? You see, it's just like here. A crack. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm so glad you joined me today for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. If you were a CVP, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do me a favor and go to my channel and look if you're still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people from me. I started out with 179,800 subscribers last year and today I'm at 176 580 or something. So YouTube took away like over 3,000 subscribers without their knowledge. So people are not unsubscribing, but YouTube is unsubscribing for them. Um, we are getting more and more people who are contacting me saying, David, I know I was a YouTube subscriber and YouTube has unsubscribed me. There is some poor connection that takes place during this voicemail, but that's the point that this caller is trying to make. Take a listen. Hey David, um, my name is Jeremy, a longtime listener uh, and longtime subscriber. Um, uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, I was watching your show last night. Everything was going um, fine on my end this Good. morning. Apparently, I have been unsubscribed from not all in our um, collective heads. It is actually happening. I do not know, and I will not um, point fingers at if it is malicious or just a bug. Um, but it just happened to be. So listen, here's the update. I've communicated that this is going on to YouTube probably 20 or 25 times at this point. They finally acknowledge that this is something that they've been hearing, but they are claiming number one, that it is a glitch. But here's the really interesting thing. And this part doesn't make sense to me. YouTube has said when a glitch shows the button as enabled again, that lets you subscribe. When you're subscribed, you can't subscribe again. The button is different. When you see the button that says subscribe, most people would assume I'm not actually subscribed. YouTube is claiming that the glitch shows the button as allowing them to subscribe again, but that in reality, YouTube still considers those users subscribed. They should still see our videos in their home feed. That's the problem that I'm having because the viewers that are contacting me saying I was unsubscribed are even noticing that because they stop seeing our videos in our in their feed. They stop getting the email notifications for our videos. So I don't know what the truth is. I, I don't think it's malicious. I think that it is clearly something that's going on in the YouTube system that they've been either unable or unwilling to really drill down and figure out what's going on. And the explanation that it is only a glitch in the button does not strike me as the right explanation because too many people are saying the reason I looked into whether I was subscribed or unsubscribed from your channel is that I was no longer getting your videos in my uh, home home feed at all. Uh, I don't know. Keep telling me uh, what your experience has been is if this has happened to you. So uh, if you are a subscriber who were unsubscribed by YouTube, please do me a favor and just hit again the subscribe button. And if you're new, thank you. I hope you enjoy this content. <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, something really bad happened. Angel, Angel got bitten by love. I just managed to towel him. His beak is, from, his beak is broken. Look. You can see. See, I'm gonna have to cut in here. See his beak? It's broken. His bottom beak. Oh shit. But the good thing is he still has his eyes. He he messed with love. Come on, love. I'm gonna give him some pain meds and then just leave him alone in a warm place in his cage. Cause this is bad.
Angel got bitten. Angel, are you okay? Turn around. Okay, so I have pain mats here. I have here the size screen. So I'm gonna put some pain mats and give it to Angel. I'm gonna make some mud and put it on his beak. That help with love too. Okay, so I just put some mud on his beak as you can see. Oh my gosh, accidents happen. What did you do with Angel? No. Hopi is super aggressive <laughs> because Angel is Hopi's mate. Angel, how are you doing? How are you doing, Angel? So he got some mats and I put mud on his beak. So I hope it will hold it in place for now once it gets hard. Oh, he's wiping off the mud. He's wiping off the mud. Let me see. Hoppy! No! Go! Don't attack me. He's pr protecting. Hope he's protecting Angel. Because Angel was screaming. Hi, Angel. How are you doing? How are you doing, Angel? Drink some soda water. Good. Good. Hi. Hi. Oh. Angel. Angel, don't be a punk. Drink your sugar water. Good. Good. Drink some more water. I leave you alone. Here. No, lost. Hi. 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 Okay. 
Have no strength in your beak. Don't do that. Okay, we can glue it together. Let's, let's, let's dry. Oh, you are pretty loud, aren't you? You are pretty loud, but the bleeding has stopped. He's looking actually good. The good thing is the beak is still attached. Mm -hmm. You know, you see, it's just like here a crack. But the So it's the day after and I'm bringing Angel to the vet because he has a split beak. Um, love bit him. So let's go. One hour later. Pet and bird hospital. Um, go ahead and have a seat. I'm going to have a technician out. They're going to go ahead and take Angel to treatment so doctor can do the exam back there and then he'll come out and talk to you. Okay. Okay. The beak we're going to have to try and put an external splint on it, okay? okay. It means I've got a sedator and then we're going to roughen the edges and try and get an epoxy to cover the wound and hold it together. The beak grows from the jaw, yeah. okay? It's going to take months for this to grow out. Okay. And we may end up, sometimes these splints will stay for a while and then they fall off and we have to replace it. It just uh, it depends on the individual bird. Okay. Uh, I made an estimate. We're going to put her on some antibiotics and pain medication. Uh, we'll get her sedated and then get her home this evening. Uh, the cost would be about $400 total. And then we'll check her again in two weeks if it's still solid. You'll just keep her at home and watch it. If it starts to fall off, we'll have to replace it until the beak is growing together. Um, I'm just a little worried about sedation. Like, what's the chance that he won't be waking up after sedation? Very slim. This is not anesthesia. Okay, I'm going to get him calmed down because it's going to be a little painful when I move on the beak. You know, if he's one wiggling around, that's not going to work. So he'll be quiet, but he's not going to be out. I would say the odds of uh, a problem would be less than 5%. That he could die during a sedation or during a surgery? 
Sorry? That he could die doing a procedure. There is always that chance. Anytime you handle a bird, even just picking him up, sometimes they don't. This bird is stable right now. He let me handle him. You know, I don't expect a big problem. You know, he's not coming in as a sick bird. He's coming in with a mechanical problem. Mm -hmm. So I think the safety margin, in other words, it's not something I can do with him completely awake. Mm -hmm. So I need to have him quiet it down so that I can work on the beak without him wobbling all around. Okay. And what is the chances if we just kind of like put up like some like glue on and glue it back together? Well, that's something of what we're doing. We're using an epoxy type of... Uh, oh, so. It's like a solid epoxy. Yeah. The glue is not going to... Like regular glue won't hold it together. Yeah. It won't have the tensile strength that we need. But this one will it'll look like its whole beak has a, has a big plastic thing on the bottom. On the bottom, and you can't eat again? Yes. Like, there's the chance you can't eat you and so I. I would say the chances of that are slim, okay? Because in the worst case, if you can't use the jaw properly, you can use, you know, baby bird food formula and feed him with a syringe. Mm -hmm. Or you can blenderize his food and let him eat slowly. This should hold it together enough that he can use it as a, as a, its function, you know, to prevent food, to clean up the food. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm not feeling really good because I just dropped off Angel at the vet and there's all these emotions coming over me and I really don't know what to do or what to think and I'm just feeling so guilty and empty right now and I have huge, huge trust issues with vets. It's so crazy because if you haven't watched my last video regarding what Jessica went through with his, her sesso, it's just so scary I don't want this to happen to Angel I really want Angel to be okay and be his happy old self so what happened was um, Love accidentally bit the beak from Angel and his lower beak is split in half and um, so we are not the vet it was hard to get a good vet but he was available because he had a cancellation I drove 50 minutes to get here and the vet says they're going to sedate him and put no splint on him with a proxy that can stick on so he can function again and eat with that lower beak so he's not a sick bird he is he is um he's he came in for something mechanical that they can totally fix but then i'm just so afraid f about the sedation i feel like you know and i hear horror stories where um people bring in their vet and then during sedation it, he doesn't like after sedation they don't wake up anymore and then they're like oh sorry your pet is dead that happened numerous times with, with other people's pets and um this doctor is really good so i need to trust him but even when i just walk into the office and i had to like hand um angel over to the tech i couldn't be even in the room for the doctor to look at angel he did it out of my sight and I felt like I hear him screaming and I was just like no he's screaming right now and this is the whole new COVID post COVID procedure um, and I just felt like oh, shit I shouldn't have brought him here why did I brought him here this is all going through my thoughts and I felt like um, what is if they will unionize him what is if they're gonna kill him I, I just have such a mistrust and I don't know what to do about it. I just hope that now that I put Angel in this vet's hand, that this vet will prove me right that not all vets are bad. Because I really, really am so afraid. I felt so guilty and empty. And I just drove off the vet. And now I have to wait. Um, the procedure, what they're going to do with Angel, will take 30 minutes. But then after he wakes up from the sedation, I can come pick him up in five hours. And it's an hour drive, so I'm gonna stick around and not drive back home because of LA traffic and stuff like that. But I'm just like really, really, really scared right now, and I just hope that everything will be okay with Angel and that he can function again properly, and that this will be a good procedure. And everything also, guys, will cost four hundred dollars. And it's not about the money, but it's about like they make me sign. Um, and make me sign this waiver that if something happened, if death occurred, they're not responsible. And then they make me sign this one, this waiver that says citation 
if he let me read it to you we take great care in ensuring your pet's safety while under our care and practically well under anesthesia however there still remains a small chance of anesthetic related death whenever a patient is sedated i acknowledge that the nature of this procedure to be performed the risk and all complications involved including those risks posed by anesthesia and the fees occurring for such has been accurately explained to me they didn't explain me that i further acknowledge that no guarantee regarding the outcome of any procedure has been expressed or implied no guarantee I further acknowledge that no guarantee regarding the outcome of any procedure has been expressed or implied uh, by the clinic or any other agents. In addition, I understand that continuous presence of qualified personnel may not be present after business hours and then initial here. You see general waiver right there. And that's the point. Like, I will just be optimistic and say, okay, this won't happen. I'm not going to draw out the worst case scenario i really really want angel to live and be again functional and especially his little beak like right here and then going forward i just need to like make sure that this never happen again because love and hope are bonded like, like that and it was a angel and hope like that now love and hope i love and hope is like that and angels kind of left out so what i have to do is probably get angel a girl down the road and have him be happy with his own little size bird and not this big bird because he kind of miss affection and hope is not giving him an affection anymore hope is more affectionated to love and because they've two free fly together they are bonded together so yeah that's that and i don't know what to do now with angel and i just pray and hope that he will be okay and i just feel really really empty right now so i just wanted to share with you my thoughts and what i'm going through and uh it's a it's a beautiful day to be alive but it's a hard day right now to be alive it's really hard <sighs> so i know i'm just just giving it to god and just know that he's gonna protect little angel that's all what i can do just trust him and trust that vet he's a good vet he really is he's a good vet I I really like that vet. He's a good vet. But I just have mistrust at vets. Just because, I, I don't know, just because of what happened and out of experience. Okay, guys. It is now 5 o'clock and the sun just set. I've been waiting for four hours for Angel to wake up from the sedation. I just got a call from the vet to come pick him up and he woke up that's a good news now there's a good news and a bad news so the good news he woke up but the bad news is that the vet told me he couldn't do the proxy um, on angel speak because it just didn't stick so he just put two splinters in there two steel splinters and it has now more stability than before but he gave me three other recommendations from three other vets and um yeah and we'll have to see how he's doing i have to go get baby hand fed formula for my bird and i have to hand feed angel and that will be an act because i never hand fed angel he's so tiny he was hand fed and finished already like when he got to me so i'm driving right now and i'm full of anxiety and it was hard today was a really hard day um so i'm gonna shut down the camera and just start recording once i pick him up Is 
I'm talking to my husband. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's crazy.